It's long days of cooking and driving. Owner Patrick Harris is part chef. That's the good stuff. Part mechanic. That's not normal. And part host. It was crispy and soft at the same time. Crammed into a mobile kitchen about the size of a large walk-in closet, Harris cooks and serves fusion tacos. We have chicken, pork, beef, and tofu. You can get Asian, Mexican, or American style. It's our signature tacos. Everything else is special. The Boca truck is the first of its kind in the River City. But Harris does have competition. With more than 100 sidewalk food vendors licensed in the city of Richmond. You want mustard, ketchup, relish, onions? A few bucks will get you a quick hot dog with all the fixins. I'm constantly battling that pre-perception of what is a food truck. Boca Truck robes the streets of Chesterfield, Henrico, and Richmond, serving gourmet food in a customized portable eatery. Richmond's new generation of the lunch truck has only been around for a year. Is it like a burrito? Already, Harris has developed a following through social media. Our coworker James hunted them down on Twitter and found them and signed up to get them to come out to us every Friday. Alerting customers to locations using the Boca website and Twitter. The site lists scheduled lunch stops and the latest tweets from Harris. Patrick posts where they are, where they're coming, uh, if they're on schedule, off schedule, and we can kind of keep up with them there and interact with them through Twitter so it keeps us uh, informed. Using social media is a game changer, allowing the restaurant on wheels to pick up and move to where the customers are. It's tough for us to get out and go get lunch, so this has been a great Great opportunity. The fish are uh, a la carte item. Boca truck only goes where people want it. <laughs> and it seems to be working. After pulling into a stop, the truck quickly attracts a line. These are the two chicken and fish. My favorite is the fish taco, which I ordered today, and they're great. The best I've had in Richmond. The spicy noodle bowl is pretty popular. Um, I like the, the barbecue quesadillas, but he's always got something new, so it's it's one of those things where you want to try something new just to keep up with what he's doing. Every day I can expect some sort of new email about either a new location request or a catering job or an event or festival that's going on. Harris says he drives the truck to a lot of office parks, giving dedicated customers a meal using fresh and unique ingredients, all for under 10 bucks. Starts off with people coming out and trying the gauntlet. You know, you get all three tacos, Asian, Mexican, and American, beef, pork, and chicken mix and match. So you literally get to try everything that the taco truck has to offer in the gauntlet. Once people are won over by the gauntlet, I start selling them on the specials. And once I get them on the specials, I got him forever. Even though Harris tells me he's enjoyed the ride, there have been roadblocks for his mobile eatery. Hear about that tonight at 6. Catherine Hawley, 8 News.